Isaiah 34 5 to 15 the sword of the Lord for my sword shall be bathed in heaven behold it shall come down upon the upon I doom I do Adumia, and upon the people of my cursed judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, of lambs and goats, and the fat and the kidneys of rams. And the Lord have a sacrifice in Bora, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullets and with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone and the land thereof shall become burning pitch it shall not be quenched night nor day the smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there and all her princes shall be nothing. And the thorns shall come up in their palaces, nettles and brambles in the fortresses thereof, and it shall be an habitation of dragons, and a court for owls. The wild beasts of the desert also shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island. And the satyr shall cry his, to his fellow, the screech owl also shall rest there, and find her place of rest. So shall the great owl make her nest and lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. And that wasn't actually what I was trying to read, but... Uh-oh. <laughs>